what's good and what up it's your brother sam and here at viral hip hop news do me a favor family before we get started with the content y'all know what to do go up top and hit that like button all right so birdman sat down with ebro in the morning yesterday on hot 97 where he went to promote his new documentary for cash money that's out now on apple music didn't check it out but i definitely plan on it should be a real dope documentary if you were into the cash money millionaires back in the early 2000s when they came to their rise of fame juvenile young turk lil wayne bg the hot boys definitely were on top of the south back in the day obviously the emergence of lil wayne came through the cash money millionaires and we all know the history between birdman and lil wayne now he sat down with ebro like i said of course the conversation of lil wayne came up he said that after meeting him at a very young age he didn't want him to follow in the path that he was getting into obviously so trying to get him in school and keep him on a better path was his journey now quote birdman his parents went to school with my brother and sister i met him through another guy named low slim but when he was a younger man his mama didn't want him hanging around me love her to death she didn't want Wayne around me because she knew how i was living so i understood that but he just kept coming he wanted it he wanted the life and i just wanted to help him because i didn't want him to live my life now he later went on to explain that the new documentary won't necessarily shed any light on his current situation with little wayne but he did ensure that he would give better insight to who he was as a man however there will be a part two in august we don't know if he'll address the little wayne situation in part two but in addition he also addressed some of his business practices ebro asked birdman how many people under his wing were actually being taken care of considering the issues he had with little wayne Tiger, to name a few within cash money Birdman dismissed it obviously like he's always done telling Ebro to report to Forbes magazine or check out Forbes magazine because all of his artists are on there quote Birdman look at Forbes all my artists are on Forbes me and my son have our differences and that shit gonna iron itself out but still I gave that man a hundred million dollar contract one wire press send I was happy as fuck to be able to do that for Wayne now Lil Wayne has not come out and comment since this interview like I said it was done yesterday we see Wayne out here on the forefront of the music platform, putting out new music, putting out mixtapes, definitely getting heavy in that. On the anticipation of the Carter 5, which obviously Birdman is real hesitant in releasing, which is one of the biggest beefs and reasons these two, Lil Wayne and Birdman, aren't speaking right now. Obviously, Birdman has taken some heat over the last couple of years, there's no denying that. Rappers like Rick Ross, for example, has came out and bashed Birdman for not giving Lil Wayne his money. Lil Wayne has been vocal on not receiving the money that he's deserved from Birdman, so obviously Birdman is taking some heat, losing some cribs, messing up some money, some real questionable money management. That's been projected to us, has had Birdman the butt of a lot of people's jokes, but he did say to Ebro that all of his artists are on the Forbes list, what made me go and look up the Forbes list to see if he was telling the truth, and Birdman was telling the truth. 2017, his top artists all were on the Forbes list. We see Drake on that list at number two. We see him coming in, I believe, at number 12. Nicki Minaj at 16 and then Lil Wayne at 17 in the year 2017 Now we all know Lil Wayne didn't drop too much music in 2017 dropped a number of mixtapes but nothing to get paid on and yet he still sits at 17 upon the Forbes list top hip-hop artist now that is interesting to say because he is getting paid whether or not he got what he deserves is another topic in discussion for another day because Birdman is going on record and basically on the forefront saying that these brothers and these sisters out here that are signed with me are getting paid and are getting life-changing money but he isn't answering the questions is if he's getting them the right money and getting them the money that they deserved and they have earned that's another question for another day y'all let me know what y'all think of birdman's conversation like i said i'm gonna go check out that documentary this afternoon on apple music it should be a dope one birdman's always down for a good interview a good topic of conversation always interesting interesting character whether you love him or hate him definitely somebody dope to talk about y'all leave a comment in the comment section let me know what y'all think of the birdman situation let me know what y'all think of him coming out and saying that all his artists are paid does he deserve to give them more money let me know what y'all saw the documentary what y'all think so leave comments below also in the description box you see links to our twitter homepage and brand new website hiphopun.com sponsored by hip-hop news uncensored own oh gosh shout out to the brother we dropping information on the daily over there killing it in the game y'all go check it out Always trying to keep it raw, real, uncut for y'all. Until next time, until next story, this is Viral Hip Hop News, and we are out of here. Peace. Oh, what a